Hi, I'm Mark, and today I have another great top 10 for you. My top 10 books by Icelandic authors for 2022. Even if Iceland tends to be a minor player when it comes to Scandinavian crime fiction and can't quite keep up with its big siblings Denmark or Sweden, there are still a number of notable Icelandic authors who roam the island near the Arctic Circle. But finally, literature in Iceland also has a very long and very remarkable transition. So now they are my 10 favorites at the moment. On number 10, it's Operation Napoleon of Arnaldur Indridason. What is this book about? The Vatna Jökul ice cap in Iceland is melting. The forces at the US base in Keflavik are on alert because the glacier is hiding a secret. A crashed World War II plane carrying explosive cargo. In front of the magnificent backdrop of the eternal ice, a young Icelandic woman's life is in danger. She knows little, but that's already too much for the masterminds of Operation Napoleon. Who is this author? Arnaldur Indridason, born in 61, was a journalist and film critic at Iceland's largest daily newspaper. Today, he's the most successful crime writer in Iceland. His novels have been translated into 40 languages and have received prestigious crime fiction awards. Arnaldur Indridason lives near Reykjavik with his family. And that already brings us to ninth place, Stormbirds by Aina Karason. What is this one about? It's winter 56. An Icelandic trawler lies on a calm sea of Newfoundland. 32 men are on board and the weather is excellent. Nobody suspects that the harmony will turn into a monstrous dramatic scenario within minutes. A storm comes up, the heavy ship is suddenly covered with ice, threatens to burst and sink in the unruly waves. Distress calls from other ships go nowhere. Nobody seems to have a chance. It is a bitter life and death struggle. But who is this author? Einar Karason, born in 55, is one of the most important contemporary Scandinavian authors. He became famous for his trilogy The Devil's Iceland, uh, Island, The Island of Gold and uh, The Promised Land. Another novel was shortlisted for the Nordic and Icelandic Literature Awards. He received the Icelandic Literature Prize for Reconciliation and Resentment, most recently the impressive Icelandic saga uh, The Stirlung, on which the author worked for more than a decade. It was published in 2017. And in 2020 he was awarded the Swedish Kulturhuset Stadstärten Prize for International Literature for his la latest novel Stormbirds. And Karason lives in Reykjavik. And on number 8 we have On Time and Water by Andri Snear Magnason. What is this one about? Everyone is talking about Corona. We should not forget about climate protection though. Glaciers are melting, sea levels are rising. Life on Earth will change fundamentally, says Icelander Andri Snear Magnason, looking back on the nature-loving life of his ancestors. He thinks of his grandchildren and great-grandchildren and wonders what we can do to keep their world worth living. His scientifically sound story and anecdotal book is a stirring and urgent appeal to all of us. But who is this author? Andri Snare Magnusson was born in Reykjavik in 73, so he is one year older than me. The literary scholar wrote children's books, plays, poetry, novels and non-fiction. His books have been translated into 30 languages. In Iceland he made a name for himself as an environmentalist. In 2008 he organized the protest concert Natura with Björk and in 14 Iceland uh, lost its first glacier, Okjökull, due to global warming. The letter to the future on the commemorative plague is from him. In his book Dreamland he criticizes Iceland's aluminum industry. And in 2016 he ran for president in Iceland. And now we are at number 7, Daybreak by Viktor Arne Ingolfsson. The story is, the autumn hunt for grey lake geese begins at dawn. But this year there is one among the shooters who isn't after birds, but hunters. A total of three murders happened and the Icelandic criminal police faces the dangerous task of finding a brutal serial killer to put an end to the deadly game of cat and mouse between hunter and prey. Who is this author? Viktor Arna Ingolfsson was born in 1955 
and is an Icelandic crime novelist. The author has a degree in civil engineering and began working in 1969. Um, that was with the Public Road Construction Administration, where he is responsible for all the administration's publications. He has been a member of the Icelandic Writers' Union since 1983 and the Icelandic Crime Writers' Union since 1999. He lives in Reykjavik, is married and has a daughter and a stepdaughter. And that already leads us to sixth place. The Blue Fox by Sjön. What is this one about? Iceland in the winter of 1883. Abba is buried but not her, but, but stones are in the coffin. Friedrich would rather bury the body in his own garden than leave it to Pastor Baldur, because he's keeping a dark secret. In a poetically clear language, Sion feels the fine lines between man and nature and takes us into a mythical intermediate world on the edge of the Arctic Circle, where in the existential abysses, man shows who he really is. And this is a very special author. At the age of 16, Sion published his first volume of poetry. Novels, song lyrics and screenplays follow. His lyrics for Lars von Trier's Dance in the Dark were nominated for an Oscar. In 2005 he received the Nordic Council's Literature Prize for uh, The Blue Fox. His novel The Boy Who Didn't Exist won the 2013 Icelandic Literature Prize. And on fifth place we have Caritas Untitled by Kristin Maja Baldus Dottir. In this story Caritas is the youngest daughter of the widowed Steinun Olafsdottir, who managed to get all six children, including the girls, to go to school. Despite the harsh living conditions in Iceland around 1900, Caritas discovered her artistic talent as a painter. But when she meets the handsome Sigma, she is faced with the most momentous decision of her life. And who is this author? Christine Maja Baldus Dottir was born 1949 in Hafna Fjordur. Passed the final examination as a teacher at the University of Education in Iceland in 1970 and did her Bachelor of Arts in German and Icelandic in 1991. Further training in Germany and Denmark followed. From 75 to 88, she worked as a primary school teacher in Reykjavik. She then changed careers and, like many other Icelandic writers, worked as a journalist for the newspaper. Morgun Bladit. She worked there until 1995. And here we are with fourth place. Woman at 1000 Degrees by Halgrimur Helgason. What is this one about? A darkly funny and explosive story about a world at war and an island girl struggle to survive 80-year-old Hera Björnsson uh, that lies alone in a garage waiting to die. Oh, she's got two weeks, maybe three. She's booked her cremation appointment in the blistering 1000 degrees, so it won't be long now. But until then, she has her cigarettes, her laptop, a World War II grenade, and her memories to back her up. One of the most original storytellers in literary, in literary history, Hera takes readers on a dazzling journey through a novel as she, in a voice that alternatively darkly funny, poignant, and always, always clever, ponders the mishaps, tragedies, and strokes of luck that have shaped her life. And she has weathered it all with a tough, uncompromising spirit. Hilarious and heartbreaking, Halgrimur Helgason tells the haunting story of a woman caught by the forces of history. Who is this author? Halgrimur Helgason was born in Reykjavik in 59. After studying at the Academy of Arts and Crafts in Reykjavik, he attended the Art Academy in Munich in Germany for a year. His breakthrough came in 96 with the novel 101 Reykjavik, which was made into a film a short time later. This was followed by the best-selling 10 tips to stop killing and start washing dishes and a woman at a thousand degrees. Helgason is one of Iceland's most internationally successful authors. And that brings us to the top three. On third place is The Absolution by Irsa Sirgudadotir and, uh, I, sorry for the names. He murders coldly and brutally. Two young people are his victims. Social media forces friends to, to witness their last agonizing minutes. And this killer isn't done yet. Another boy is missing. But what connects the young people? Who thinks they deserve death? And can the boy still be saved? Hulda and his team are investigating and psychologist Freyer 
is also included in the investigations again despite initial reluctance. Together, they must find the merciless killer before he strikes again. Who is this author? Irsa Sigurdardottir, born in 63, is an award-winning best-selling author whose suspense novels are published in over 30 countries. She is one of the best crime writers in the world, according to the Times. Sigurdardottir lives in Reykjavik with her husband and two children. She made her debut in 2005 with The Last Ritual, a series of crime novels about the lawyer Dora Gudmundsdottir. This book is the start of a new series about psychologist Freya and detective Hulda from the Reykjavik police. And on second place we have The Atom Station by Haldor Laxness. What is this one about? In the house of Icelandic MP Bui Arland, the military are taking turns. During the Cold War, the island was courted because it was a strategically important base in the North Atlantic. A young woman from the north of the country works as a maid in the MP's house. She came to Reykjavik to learn to play the organ. In the capital, she encounters exciting ideas and a worldly organ teacher. She gets to know bizarre gods and politicians who talk about the country's independence and secretly negotiate with the Americans about its sellout. Who is this author? Haldor Laxness was born in 1902 in Reykjavik, has produced an extensive body of work that is deeply rooted in the rich tradition of Icelandic literature, while at the same time belonging to the European avant-garde. Laxness has published 60 books and has been translated in over 40 languages. In 55, he received the Nobel Prize in Literature. But still, he's not my personal number one, because that's hypothermia, by Arnaldur Indridason. And what is this one about? On a cold autumn evening, the body of a young woman is found at Iceland's historic lake of Bingvelli. At first glance, a suicide, but in Inspector Ellendur becomes suspicious when he sees a recording of a seance that was leaked. Shortly before her death, the woman had contacted a medium. Despite his deep skepticism about spiritistic practices, Ellendur follows the clues and in doing so touches on a well-kept family secret that the youth of this woman has, was overshadowed by. The author has already appeared in the top 10, so I'll save myself a repetition at this point and you too, of course. As you can see, Little Iceland really packs a punch when it comes to fiction. And if you want to get to know more about great books now, you will find my next video here in the end, end screen. And I'll see you there and don't forget to read again. Bis gleich.